Oh, 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 oh. Look at this place! See what happens, they're gonna send a flare in. This is gonna get really cool, I think. I don't actually know if we're in trouble, but I don't think we've done anything wrong. Situation has not changed. Our position is 46 degrees, 12 decimal, 891 north. We will talk to you again in three zero minutes. Go. Have you ever wanted to get out of the office and have an adventure? Well, I found my dream boat and I had no excuses left. Hi, my name is Daryl. Check out some of my wildest adventures. This is me, this is me, and this is me as well. After serving in the Canadian Coast Guard for years on boats just like this, I decided to buy my own and sail around the world. This channel is my passion project where I outfit my boats for extreme conditions and put them to the test. First up, Canada to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico in the stormy season. So stay tuned and subscribe as I embark on the worldwide dinghy ride. I am currently under the Golden Gate Bridge as we speak. How amazing is this? Today has definitely been the best day so far um, for kicking butt. We're going like 25, 30 knots and just loving the swell. It's absolutely amazing. Anyways, we've used about half a uh, gas tank kicking butt here um, on the forward tank. So that's our smaller. We put 52 gallons into that one. So we've used about half of it and uh, we got a little ways to go to the gas station. We have another full tank, so nothing to worry about. Yeah, let's see how far we can get on the forward fuel tank. Awesome. Well, yeah. we're especially at this speed. Yeah. Well, what? Oh, seven or twenty-five? Like twenty-five. Yeah. Thirty. Let's go twenty-five. Let's do this. gorgeous we're just in Monterey the Sun is coming out yes finally 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 we're just at Monterey Bay fueling up and uh, yeah we're just trying to do a long haul today it's been a tough day I think uh, found out maybe that Aubrey doesn't want to do the whole thing so I don't blame her at all but in my head I was just really excited so I think she's got some plans to do like it a little bit shorter but I just want to make sure that it's like my dream my plan so uh, yeah we're gonna have a chat tonight and uh, yeah we'll get this all sorted out but that's what I have on the go right now we're we just filled up uh, Corey's just washed his hands there and um, we're gonna be heading south so yeah we'll uh, we have two full tanks now two full tanks and I topped the tanks up really really well This has been holy cow um, it's absolutely gorgeous out as you can see yeah we're getting lucky it's been um, choppy earlier and it's just getting better and better as we go south but the Sun's about to go down soon so we're gonna lose that I think we're gonna probably spend the night in Morro Bay is it Morro Bay yeah yeah in Morro Bay on the fuel dock but uh, we're still making the decision so right now we have a full forward tank and then we have a half full half tank so we're just not 100% sure we can make it all the way to Santa Barbara we've been using a lot of fuel because it's so rough anyways uh, great day and uh, hope the rest of the evening treats us just as well it's uh, quite remote out here I forget how nice it is inside the heated cabin anyways I always check the oil continually and and uh, we've done about 75 miles, so here's the oil. But we have like a lot left. Yeah, we only have 16 miles, so I'm gonna go back inside and do it safely when we get into 
the dock. We're gonna stay, I think, at Morro Bay uh, Yacht Club. They have transient moorage, and we're gonna check out the fuel dock. Maybe we'll sleep there, who knows? So that's our aft. Is just oh, just under a quarter and our forward is still full. We got to Morro Bay and we're just gonna go check it out. It's uh, it's uh, 7.30 at night. We have one really long day left. Both of us are tired, uh, but we're excited to go check out what's going on here. We spent the night in Morro Bay. We got in late, didn't even go check anything out. We walked down the road, but everything was pretty much closed. I ended up going for a good walk this morning. What a cool little town. Anyways, we're at this cool pier and we're fueling up on like a commercial pier, a small one, but let's check out the boat from the top. I've been absolutely loving the boat. It handles amazing. I've been getting a couple hundred miles out of the tanks, maybe 250 at the max, but it really depends on the speed at which I'm going. I've noticed, not the speed, but the wave height does make a huge difference. I know that, but I, like it's a lot on this boat just because of the size of it. I kind of forgot about that. My other boat is just a smaller boat, so it's still fine and powers through everything, so. Anyways, uh, no regrets. Today, we're heading off and we're gonna go to Catalina Island. We're gonna go to Santa Barbara, fuel up, zip over to Catalina Island, stay there for a night, maybe two nights, hopefully, and uh, down to San Diego to get started. So, yeah, just really, really excited to get going. The weather's nice, finally, and that's it. Okay, we just finished fueling up. 69.6 .6 gallons from San Francisco. We're back to full on both engines. Uh, Corey's gonna do a weather check here and see where it's at. So we're going out of Morro Bay. What a cool place. I can't wait to come back. Holy cow, look at this rock. Like, are you kidding? Yeah. Did you climb that? Yeah. Would you? Hell yeah. If we were stuck here for any longer than we were, I would have. Looks like a gorgeous day. Hopefully the swells are as nice. <laughs>
is so amazing. We're just outside of Santa Barbara, turning the last corner. The sun is out and the watercolor has changed. We are so pumped for this next part of the trip. Oh my God, we're there. So we got a an, an oil, low oil alarm. How does it look? Yes, it's definitely low. Yeah, I see a little bit of oil there in the bottom. Well, pour it on. It's just annoying to start because you have to prime it sometimes. Well, it said low oil, not no oil. I did, this is how I learned. <laughs> yeah. We're back up again. Uh, check the oil and yeah, we were definitely low. It's really easy to forget on this because the tank's not very big for the stuff we're doing. Anyways, we're almost there. <laughs> So we we'll, have to top this up one more time. Yeah, we'll stop and check it before we get there. That was close. I mean, we were. How long was that last one? 100 miles. Yeah, but then I think maybe since I was, I had the lead foot there. Once we hit the calm water, maybe it burned more oil. I don't know. Well, no, it's we usually stop at 75. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. We're gonna stay in Avalon for the night and tie up to a boy. Uh, maybe get a hotel, who knows? You can't see it, but on the ledge, there's like cactus all around the ledge. It's really cool. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. This is like we're in the Mediterranean. This place is full of moorings. It is so cool. And like buildings going up the cliffs. I've never seen anything so amazing. We're just going to tie up to a mooring and then probably put the tacky cat in the water. That's what's gonna be our transportation. So I'm excited about that as well. So cool. Oh, and the other thing, someone actually comes and escorts us to a mooring ball. Like what? Okay, so this guy was so nice. He's gonna take us in to the mooring now and uh, we get like first class service. I'm so pumped. We're on our way in. Here's the guy.
think of this place? Of Avalon? Yeah. It's pretty cool, pretty cool architecture. It looks a little bougie maybe once you get past the tourist trap on the docks, but. What do you wanna do, just go cruise around, check it out? Yeah, let's go look around. Cool. See what's up. Nice. Okay, Corey and I decided to rent a golf cart and we're gonna go check out Catalina before we head off. Uh, we thought it was the best way, let's go have some fun. I think we just about went around the whole island. Pretty cool. We're back in town, just hitting up back roads now. What a cool place to check out. I'd love to go for a hike or something up here. I thought Corey would be a good driver, but he's just going in circles. Okay, hang on, hang on, stop. Evidence. There's golf carts everywhere. I'm so happy we did this. What a cool way to check out the place. 60 bucks an hour, not too bad. Okay, our boat is 55 pounds. The tack and cat that we have, the three meter, is 55 pounds. We're gonna load it up on the roof rack again. Let's hope this goes well. First time doing it. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna get it. Well, yeah. what did we get? Volleyball. Nice. Let's keep it. It belongs to COA. We just found Wilson, and we're gonna head over to San Diego and start getting the boat ready for the trip to Mexico. Um, we're almost, almost there. How's the fuel up going? It's going good. Yeah? It's a little rough, but we're getting her done. Okay, let's see how much damage we've done. 852 liters of fuel in that boat. Holy cow. You guys, that was unbelievable! 